friend of mine donated to me an E300 electric Razor scooter. The batteries didn't work, so it didn't work. So now I figured I would play around with it and convert it to gasoline. I first gutted all the electronics of it, so I took out the electric motor, took out the battery packs that were in the base. I cut off all the metal that was over top of the rear wheel and welded on my own framing system on which it allows me to uh, position and move about a uh, platform for the chainsaw and a platform for the jack shaft. Originally I had the chainsaw hooked up directly to the rear wheel to drive it however the 14 tooth to 40 tooth ratio which is about 3 to 1 was insufficient to accelerate. The acceleration was really bad. I really didn't move anywhere. So after I discovered the acceleration issue with the first trial I put in a jack shaft, allows me to adjust the ratios. So I have a 3 quarter inch steel bar which runs through two pillow blocks on either side. Sprocket teeth on the chainsaw is 14 teeth that goes up to 42 teeth. The secondary one here is 16 teeth and that goes down to 40 teeth uh, which is mounted on the rear wheel. This bike sprocket is uh, welded onto the original drive sprocket uh, which has much smaller teeth. I can adjust the tension of the chains and the position of the motor and the jack shaft because the motor is on its own platform. All I have to do is loosen these bolts and slide this up and down on this tube right here. You do have to make sure they're quite tight and you do need lock washers otherwise they'll vibrate free. The same with the jack shaft platform. It does have two bolts on either side. The Homelite 240 chainsaw was very generously donated to me by a gentleman who does maintenance on lawn equipment. And all he asked in exchange is that I document my construction of the vehicle that I made. So I'm paying him back with this video to some extent. Here's the brake handle that came with the scooter. Here's a throttle handle that I took off of an old bicycle and it fit on the bar perfectly. I did replace the throttle cable. It does run all the way to the back and I put on, welded on a bracket to support the throttle cable just to keep it secure. The sprockets and chains are all from an old 10-speed bicycle and obviously the chain was cut to size to fit the project.